What's up YouTube, General Tony here, coming back with another Call of Duty video, the second one I'm bringing to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to become the best player in Call of Duty. What I mean by that is how to become top in the game, or just in games in general, depending on what gameplay you play, etc, etc. So right now I'm playing some Domination, I don't really ever play Domination, but I've decided to play this gameplay just because a lot of people play it. And I felt like changing it up. So this is only the second day that I've played Call of Duty since I've been back playing it. I've left it for about two or three months. Since being back, I've pretty much come at the top of every single game lobby that I've been in. And I'm still pretty rusty. So how do I do it? Basically, it's a build-up over a period of time. So I've been playing this game for about four or five years now at least. No, actually, wait, longer than that. About six or seven years. So obviously, I've built up skill set within the game. I know how to use the guns, etc. Choose my perks and all that sort of jizz. So right now I'm using the BAL-27, which is pretty much the standard gun that a lot of people use, I think. I heard someone said it got nerfed, but I'm not too sure, because I literally haven't played the game for so long. So I just chose this gun because it's decent at long range. I know it's a bit weak, but it seems to do alright for me at some times. This gun, which I just picked up there, is actually very good, but didn't get to use it, so dropped it again. I don't even have a class of it, I don't think. This is literally the only class I have. This and the, uh, the little Uzi gun, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, so I had to become the best at the lobby. So basically, as you've seen, when I started, instead of following the crowd, most of the people just went for like the A flag, I think it was. I decided to go for the B flag because you're going to be able to cause your team to get a head start in the game. So that's really what you want as well because whoever controls the most flags in domination is going to be able to get the more, most kills. It's as simple as that because if you control two flags, they're going to want to take one of them. So you can just hover around that middle flag and literally just pick them off like flies. So domination, that's how you really do it in domination. Obviously you've got other gameplays, uh, other game modes like uh, search and rescue which is a bit more strategic. Within that I personally like to rush because you get to like points in the game, points in the map a lot faster than your enemy and then you're able to take them out. But I'll show you some search and rescue gameplay later on. This is specifically talking about domination. So in this game I get about 40 something odd kills and I don't know how many deaths I get, I think over a 2 KD ratio, my KD ratio right now is about 1.95 or something like that, my win loss is about 2.05. This is my original account, I'm a Prestige 7 or something like that, and I was actually ranked like in the top 100 in Search and Rescue, but I stopped playing it for a while, so, because the game got kind of repetitive and I had other things to do. But being back now, I'm still managing to stay at the top of the lobbies. So how I'm doing this is, obviously I'm choosing the correct gun which I want to use. So right now as I said I'm using the BAL-27 and I've got the Uzi on tap as well if I want to switch to that. So along with the gun you want to choose your perks. Right now I think I'm using lightweight, low profile, uh, some form of cold blooded to, to stop sentries etc from seeing me and um, what else am I using? I think scavenger or something like that. So I'm using perks which enable me to hide so the enemies don't see me and enable me to have enough ammo and stuff like that so I can get quite big kill streaks so I can do quite well. So you want to be quite speedy in games, you want to use your uh, exo boost like optimally, you don't want to just like sometimes use both boosts at once in case the enemy is around the corner, you want to use one then you want to jump then you want to use the other, you can use the slide for floor slide as well which a lot of people are doing these days. But overall I think the main thing you need to do to become excellent at this game apart from actually playing it a lot is to try and improve your sight so you have to improve your reaction time through your eyesight so if you see something in the corner of the map you got to react to it really quickly obviously that's you're kind of born with it that's why a lot of people can play games for hours and still not improve whereas someone like myself can come along and a lot of other people can literally play a game for an hour and literally dominate in the maps like this is literally the second day that I played this game back for literally months I haven't played for months on end I come back and I literally come at the top of every single game lobby that I play. It's very simple, you get used to it. So as you can see here, I'm pretty much, I think I've had a couple of kill streaks. Kind of sitting here a bit, just waiting for a couple of people to come. Obviously that's their flag, so they're spawning around here. you got to be quite strategic as well. I'm lying down, I'm using my, uh, what's that thing called? That shield which makes you go invisible. I can't remember what it's called. Exo shield, my bad. Yeah, I'm using that quite a lot in this map since I've since I've been coming back I've been using it quite a bit the killstreaks I've got I think I haven't changed them in such a long time so they're just kind of the standard ones which were there I've got the UAV on I've got the, uh, the one which causes the connection to go you know what I'm talking about the jammer one and I've got the space bird don't know what that's called either I literally have no idea what they're called 
this isn't a live commentary guys this is I'm coming I'm commentating it over whilst watching it back myself because I had a few problems with recording but it's all good now the next ones will all be live so there'll probably be some swearing in it I apologize now and uh, maybe a bit of uh, raging, raging but you never know this game gets everyone angry at some times so what are we doing right now we're switching sides we're in 101 to 61 so you're gonna see I think I go for B again everyone else is gonna go all, uh, off to the left towards C whereas I go for B because it is the harder thing to do and no one on the enemy team is really gonna go there unless they've got some balls and I'm gonna take him out well, I don't think I do here I think this guy sponges me yeah look yeah he sponged or did he yeah so I'm gonna go straight back for B try and get that flag down if I get that flag for our team, then it's going to allow me once again to pick off the enemy and literally come at the top of not only the top of my team, but I'm going to be the top player in the game because you're going to use strategic thinking. You're going to hide around the flags which you want. They're going to be coming out of these tunnels now. This is their only spawn point. They're going to spawn around the flag which they have. So if they only have one flag, then they've only got one spawn point really. I'm sitting up here in the middle of the map picking them off. Just try not to stay in two open areas unless you're extremely good at the game. I will be extremely good probably in a couple of days. Probably getting like three, four key de uh, kill death ratios. I used to mess around in this game. My kill death ratio right now is, as I said, about 1.95. If I really wanted to, it could go to three so easily. These are literally the easiest games to play when you get used to it and you just put a lot of time into playing them. When I was younger, I used to play these games for literally, I don't know, three, four days with having a couple of hours sleep wouldn't eat so you know what I mean it's really addictive that's why it's probably the best game in the world along with a few others Clash of Clans check it out if you haven't already one of the really addictive mobile games actually the most addictive mobile game similar to that to become the best in games in general you just have to play it a lot you have to get used to things you have to trial and error like different guns or different st strategies like troops or whatever depending on the game you're playing. For this I would say the SMGs are the best guns obviously for close contact. This is a relatively long distance map which is why I'm not using the Uzi whatever it's called MP5 I think it's called or something like that maybe I'm talking about the wrong gun. But that's the reason why I'm not using that. In search and rescue I most likely would use an SMG because you're faster. You can change the perks up a little bit, but the SMGs are going to allow you to fire faster. They're going to allow you to get into the enemy areas quicker because they allow you to run faster. This is like a, a middleweight weapon and they're obviously lightweight weapons. So you want to be lightweight runner when you're playing more strategic game modes like search and destroy, search and rescue or anything like that. Even things like momentum when you're chucking the ball, you want to be running fast. This is literally like a team game so you can stand at a distance away from the enemies and just pick them off. Even here, just watching the gameplay now, guys, I mean, like, I'm pretty much dominating the enemy team. I've had quite a lot of kill streaks so far. I don't know why I've got these kill streaks. I think some of them are pretty bad, but I can change them up when I want. So I probably will change them when I go back. The reason why people aren't good at this game, or just games in general, is because they literally just run out there. You've got to take, pick one off, then you've got to, like, not wait for a little bit, but you just got to, like, check out your surroundings, see what's around you always use your map a lot of people do not use their maps I mean that's there for you to use it literally tells you where the enemies are when they're firing if they don't have suppressors on or anything like that or even if they do I think you can get some perks inside of this game this is the first Call of Duty I think where you can get a perk which shows uh, suppressors not perks sorry an attachment I remember yeah I remember that from a while ago you can get an attachment that shows where the enemies are so things like that are going to help you out a lot changing your class and kind of molding it to how you play is what's really going to help you become the best player in the lobby and just be ranked high obviously uh competing in things like game battles i don't know if any of you guys know what that is that's going to help you become a lot better as well because you're playing a proper team you're really challenging another team so you have to play your best you're going to learn from games that you play and just become a better call of duty player or whatever game you play in general so this is more aimed towards call of duty because i've been talking about perks and just guns etc and all that sort of stuff but obviously to become good in any game you just need to play it a lot so what's going on in the actual gameplay I think it's coming to an end we're in an 182 to 108 so this is pretty much being dominated because of me to be honest I've, I think we got a couple of good players on our team but I've come above everyone else by quite a long way I think picked up this gun don't know what it is I think it's pretty slow at firing I really don't like these kind of guns they really fire slowly 
So I always want to use something which is fast, as I said. SMGs are the best guns to use, they're the most fun. This gun was just like put, in, <laughs> put inside of my, uh, my class, so I just picked it. I'm going to change it up after this game. As ever though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. It will be live next time. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for many more Call of Duty videos. Check out my Clash of Clans videos that I've done if you haven't. You might like them, you might not. Peace out.